Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Minecraft GLFW error code 65542. The driver does not appear to support OpenGL. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start this tutorial off by opening up the web browser of our choice. And what you're going to do is navigate over to google.com. In the Google search, open gl32.dll download. And just search for that. One of the best matches should be from a dll slash files.com domain. Go ahead and just left click on that. Now you might have to scroll down a little bit. So there's 64 bit downloads and 32 bit downloads. You want to select the one that's applicable for your computer. So if you're running a 64-bit operating system, you'd select the 64 one up at the top. Otherwise, we're going to go select the 32-bit one since that's what my computer is running. If you're unsure, you can search my channel. I have a tutorial of how to determine if you're running a 32- or 64-bit version of the Windows operating system. So just go to my channel and search for it. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and just select the applicable download. Most of you guys are going to be using the 64-bit one. Just want to put that up right in the beginning. Some of you guys are not going to listen to me even though I'm explicitly saying you're more than likely going to be using the 64-bit download. You're going to click this 32 one because that's what I'm doing here but listen I can only do so much with these tutorials so so you can't blame me if you download the wrong one I already told you. So anyway select the download button. Give it a moment here. And then it should be in a compressed file format so you can minimize or close out of the browser. We're going to take this DLL file in our zip folder here and we're just going to drag it over to the desktop. Close out of here. Now you want to open up the start menu, type in File Explorer. Best results should go back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. I'm just going to keep this DLL file somewhere around here so you can see it when I'm zooming in. So anyway, we're going to go select this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive, so go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the Program Files folder. Double click on Java. And now that we're in Java here, you want to go open up the JRE folder. And now there should be a bin folder. So just drag this DLL file into the bin folder. So it says move the bin. So we're just going to go drag it in. It says you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Select continue. And once you're done with that, simple as that, you can just close out of here, restart your computer, and then the issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do about to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.